it's Cecilia and today I'm going to talk about primers. A couple of years ago when I started my YouTube channel, I, all I heard about was primers. It was just up and coming at that point and I just didn't understand what it was. I understood how it was for, for oily girls. It was going to prolong your wear, your, the wear of your makeup and fill out the pores and even out the skin tone and everything like that, but I never heard about people talking about primers for dry skin. All I heard was just that you can use your moisturizer, that's fine, it will work. But within these last couple of years, they're just coming more and more, and I think that's just awesome. So today I want to show you my favorite primers that work for dry skin. If you have been watching my channel for a long time, you know the primers I'm going to show you right now, but I think they are so phenomenal, so I just have to show you, show them to you again. Don't worry, new ones will come up too. But these are the Makeup Forever Step 1 primers, and I have three of them, and all of these work for my dry skin. Maybe not, maybe not all the time, some of them works in the summer, some in the winter, some all the time. But I will guide you through it. The first one is the one that's best for dry skin, and this is the hydrating primer. This is just phenomenal. It makes my makeup look so beautiful. It doesn't prolong the wear of my makeup, but it just makes it look so fresh throughout the day. It makes my more matte foundations look less cakey and just glides on. The bronzer comes on more smoothly and it's just a really good primer. Sorry about the noise outside, but it's so extremely hot in Denmark right now. I'm sweating my ass off and the window is open because otherwise I just can't breathe. So, I hope you can hear a tractor or some things like that. Another problem for dry girls is that they often have more red skin or sensitive skin and that's the next primer's purpose. This is for redness. It's a redness correcting primer and I really think it works. It really calms down my redness. I have to use more. I made a video a long time ago. It's the most viewed video I have uh, and I obviously used a little too little. I have to be a little more generous than I think I need to be but then it really works. So if you have redness and you just want to use like a BB cream um, but you don't want to use like a full coverage foundation you can use this one and then the BB cream and it's, it's fine. It's more light. I like that. In the summertime I'm a little more oily and after I got pregnant I also am a little more oily. My skin is a little bit weird. I got some breakouts and stuff but but in the summertime, this primer is phenomenal. It's the only smoothing primer that I have ever tried that works on my dry skin. I've tried the Benefit Professional, just a little sample, and it crumbled on my face. I also tried some of the Smash, Smashbox ones, and they also crumble on my face. This one is the only one that really works for me. So when I have large pores, I just want that really even skin and look flawless. I use this primer. It's so good. It doesn't crumble on my face and it doesn't make my makeup look cakey. Oh my... Well, it just broke this. So, my hair will be down, okay. It doesn't crumble on my face and it doesn't make my makeup look cakey throughout the day. So this is a very good foundation in the summer. Also, if you're using a more dewy foundation, this is so good. I've also been talking about these two primers before. The first is the one Le Blanc de Chanel. This is illuminating primer and the L'Oreal Magic Lumi primer. These are very very similar, just the price is just a little different. I really like the Chanel one. It smells heavenly. It really goes hand in hand with my Estee Lauder Double Wear. Extremely expensive couple, but they are a match made in heaven for dry girls. I don't think it makes my makeup look more luminous, but it moisturizes my skin. It makes, again, it, it looks beautiful throughout the day and looks hydrated, not cakey. I think it's too expensive uh, for the price. It's too expensive, but I really love it. And it's beautiful for dry girls. The other one, the L'Oreal, is also really, really good. It's kind of the same thing. It's kind of the same thing it does, just another price. It's a little more fluid than the other one and it doesn't make my makeup look as beautiful as the other one, but it's a good dupe. Very, very good dupe. Very close. Before the summer I bought this Too Faced Hangover RX primer and this is mo most likely 
one of my favorite primers of all time. The smell is incredible, it smells like coconuts and it's infused with coconut water, pro probiotic based ingredients and skin revivers. Oh yeah, miracle in a bottle. <laughs> Not a genie in a bottle, but miracles in a bottle. It's kind of the same thing as the other ones, it makes my skin look more fresh when my skin looks very dull and dead. <laughs> almost. I use this one, but the thing that this one does, in my opinion, or at least on my skin, is that it also prolongs my makeup, the wear of my makeup. Not not like in an extreme way, but there's something in it that just is a little more tacky than the other ones. It's more tacky and it just kind of makes the skin or make the foundation last a longer time, not like for 24 hours, but it just makes it last longer. Another color correcting primer I really like to use is one from MAC. This is the Prep and Prime CC Color Correcting Cream with SPF 30. That's also nice. And this is just to color correct your skin. I don't think it's... Again, I don't think it prolongs the wear of your makeup. I don't think it moisturizes my makeup that much, a little bit. Uh, but the one thing that it does is that it cancels out some redness. I don't use that much. It's a very, 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 very yellow based uh, primer and it's very, very uh, intense. So you need a very small amount. You have to just try out and see how much you need for your redness. But it definitely neutralizes the redness. So if my skin in the winter time is very very irritated and very red, I will use this one. Before I put on my foundation, I'll just put this on the places where I have the most redness, like on my cheeks. Um, especially here, I have most redness around here. Um, put it on a small layer and then my foundations and it does a job, at, at least for me. The last primer I'm going to talk about is one from Urban Decay. I never hear people talk about this primer on, on, on YouTube. Um, maybe for a good reason, I don't know. But this is the Brightening and Tightening Complexion Primer Potion. It's, you know, the primer potion for eyes, this is just for a face. Actually, I bought this by mistake. I thought this was the primer potion, a huge, huge bottle. But this is actually for the face. It says that it's going to brighten and tighten your complexion. I don't know if it does that. I don't feel like it uh, tightens my face. But I think it's overall a good primer again. It works for my dry skin. It's very much like this one, the RX primer or like the, the hydrating primer. Um, so again, it makes your makeup go on smoothly and you feel hydrated throughout the day. It's not an amazing primer, it's not my first priority, but um, but it's good and it works for dry skin. Okay guys, that completes this video. I hope you thought it was helpful. At least these primers work for me. I don't know what works for you, but I hope this may can guide you um, to find some good primers. If you thought it was helpful, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!